This is the CMO of GAIA-X, Vasilia Orfano. This is our newest podcast series. GAIA-X is a newly aspiring, rising European association. And together with you, we can develop a new concept of data infrastructure ecosystem based on the values of openness, transparency, sovereignty, and interoperability. Join us today at GAIA-X and be part of this technological ecosystem. This is the CMO of GAIA-X, Vasilia Orfano, and today we have a special guest with us, the coordinator of the Slovakian Hub, uh, Mrs. Martina Malakova. Martina, good day. How are you? Thank you very much, Vasilia. How are you? Uh, good, 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 good. It's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure having you with us. Uh, you have been one of the most active uh, hub coordinators, and we really appreciate that because you tend to give the national profile and the national priorities in such a simple and eloquent way, which is extremely needed. Uh, so I would like us to, to have this conversation and obviously uh, continue with a series of hubs when you're ava- uh, hub discussions when you're available as well uh, to, to, to help us understand uh, what is the purpose of the hub ecosystem and which is the added value it can bring. You understand that not all of our target audiences understand uh, what a hub is doing for Gaia-X and what's the purpose behind it. So I give you the floor. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, first question. And uh, first of all, Vasilia, thank you very much to having me here. I will start by uh, macro view. Uh, for example, for Slovakia to be present at GAIA-X initiative very early, I think it was very important for the small country as we, we are. So this big initiative about the data space and data economy could only bring the good things and good base for our competitiveness of our economy and exactly to be part to be part of, of this project. For Europe and the global data space, I think it's really very important to, to have all the countries on board. We know that there is a lot of uh, some unfriendly initiatives of the fair and secure trade from other countries outside often outside the europe so it is really important as we are the european to create the base of data space which will be fair and secure and exactly to be based also on sustainability and which, which is very important on democratic values of our society. This is the reason why this project is open. It is open for everybody, for each companies who wants to play, and I underlined it, the, the same game as we want. So really to create, uh, as I mentioned, data space fair and secure for our society. It is also important for the public sector. It is not only for the companies because society is created from public and private sector. We couldn't or, or forgot it. So for Slovakia to be the part exactly so e- e- earlier of the nice project as Gaia-X is, is very exciting. For the, for the Europe and for the global view, from the global view, it is very important to have everybody on board. Now I will continue from microview, which is important or very interesting or very good. It is the network at GAIA-X. Uh, each hub, each company could share the knowledge there, which is very fruitful for every, every uh, who wants to be the who wants to create the part of data system, data economy. Find the support of ideas for the new projects is really exciting to, to work together. As Marin de Suri from Gaia X Hub France uh, says always, it is nice to have this collective intelligence. And I completely agree with it. And as me, I said often, is together we are stronger. And I think this is Gaia X. So cooperation, collaboration between this network is very fruitful, useful for everybody who is inside. 
The second point is to make know about Gaia X data economy. The people, the companies don't know yet what is it, how it could bring advantages uh, for our society. So it is really important that we have the hubs in each country. And this ecosystem, this uh, wanted to, to, to work together could help each country in each uh, hub where the, uh, where the hub is represented. For example, what is also uh, important that uh, we as a hub, we could help small and medium companies uh, to, for example, to be part of this data economy. This is really important to, to bring uh, the data economy rules, principles in a comprehensive way. So for example, to explain some rules in our natural, uh, natural language, to help them to understand and as this to be a part of value ch chain for the future or also for today. Uh, to prepare the, that, uh, the SMEs for data economy is really, uh, really, really crucial. And we couldn't lose this momentum of, the, of this development. Uh, looking from the uh, GAIA-X framework perspective, the technical solution, the specs that we have, um, which also set up, uh, let's say, the uh, compliance framework surrounding the fact that most services would need to apply the necessary policy rules, the trust framework, the labeling framework, the criteria, and so on and so forth. How would the GAIA-X framework from your perspective, and in terms of the, the Slovakian perspective, maximize the work of each national hub? Uh, I think this is very interesting of the question. Uh, we, uh, we could hear a lot of discussion about this question. But I think we have to understand, uh, take it as the reality, that we are completely in a new digital age. So our society completely changed. So if we have the new age and the new, new uh, change, changing and transformation, we need the new rules, the new principles, and we are in digital transformation. It is so difficult to understand for the people, to do it for the companies. So uh, it is really hard to create the, the right rules and the right principles. It is the reason why we have to try to, uh, to be open and to establish the trust, to, for, for, to be for our future, to create for our future the real good principles, rules, maybe the taxes also. So this is the, the, my opinion that uh, I know that a lot of companies, for example, don't like that we want to create some, uh, some uh, certification, cyber certification, for example, or some labeling. But I think uh, really we need it. And from Slovakia side, it is really important to give the chance uh, to our companies that if we are inside Gaia X, and we could a little bit create or, or to be part of this creation of these uh, principles, rules, and labeling, it could help them to really to be part of value chain and to find and to be, uh, continue to be competitive uh, for their business. True. Uh, you talk about the digitalization and the importance to, to move forward in this respect. And you've been saying also that Slovakia is a, is a quite small of a country, but still innovative, uh, if you allow, allow me to say, uh, and less bureaucratic than other countries as well. Uh, so my interest would, would be to understand uh, which would be the next sectors that Slovakia should invest in terms of data spaces. So, for instance, I can I can let you know, like because I, I live and reside in, in Luxembourg, one of the key priorities, and obviously following the pandemic, um, where we are currently investing is the sector of health. Uh, would that be the case in Slovakia? If no, uh, which would be those sectors that we could say, okay, this is where we need to go forward uh, in Slovakia? 
Uh, I think that uh, health, it is uh, have via post pandemic <laughs> age, uh, health, it is really important as a sector. And we have a lot of uh, things and uh, good things and good projects to do. So I completely agree with you. And exactly this is that uh, the states and Europe could on the concrete project and the concrete results to show the people and the society why digital transformation is uh, uh, is important and how they can help uh, to our life. The second for us, it is mobility. As we are the, the country that we produce the most cars uh, by habitant, it's normal that we are interesting uh, on uh, this on this sector, and you could know, for example, that uh, our universities we have nice project uh, and nice result with uh, autonomous vehicles, for example, with some projects, and um, also the uh, the the third, for example, sector which is really important and uh, linked with uh, with this uh, with this uh, with this uh, sector of mobility is industry manufacturing so we have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, uh, manufacturing uh, uh, here uh, a lot of factories and there is uh, uh, there is a lot of potential to use the data to try to make some tests or uh, try to make some projects and to be really helpful in this in this uh, in this area to cooperate because we are also the small country so we, you have a lot of suppliers on uh, one place because uh, as you heard we will have the fifth OM uh, Volvo uh, uh, next year. So it is a really uh, good uh, success and it is a really good uh, opportunity to try to make, as I can maybe say, a little test bed of some uh, projects here in Slovakia. I'd like also to, to mention uh, geo information. We have a university in uh, Zelina. Uh, uh, have a faculty of management science and informatics, which are really very motivated to, to, to work, uh, for example, with Gaia X Hub uh, Belgium. So we will have together the, the meetings and I think it could be really very interesting that, uh, that they will create maybe some projects or almost one project. And uh, I want to underline this, that it is also the advantages to be the part of Gaia X, uh, AISBL as a hub. Now we have really a lot of knowledge uh, about the people, a lot of network and uh, our common interest. So this is the third, uh, the fourth. And the fifth I mentioned, but in Slovakia now we are not a lot of developed in this, but I think it is really also important because for the sustainability, I think it is agriculture. So agriculture, it could be a topic in Slovakia in the future. So we have health, mobility, manufacturing, geoinformation, and maybe in the future agriculture. That's, that's quite interesting. Um, and in terms of the latest developments of the Slovakian hub, possibly also the priorities for the future uh, and how you foresee, aside from investments, the funding needed, obviously, to do things, uh, where are we moving ahead with the Slovakian hub? But for funding, there is a... Two, two answers, but I can, or three maybe, what I can uh, mention. It is the first that uh, uh, now for the hub as a financing only the hub, it is really by, by, by chance or by, I have a, by, I have a smart, uh, smart idea two, two years ago that we created working group uh, data. And now we have some uh, financing from Ministry of Economy on this working group data. But in the future, we have to continue to discuss. But what is also important for our members is, uh, uh, is exactly to find uh, some financing for the projects. And I think this is a big opportunity also for the, for the headquarters to, to understand that we have a, a large uh, amount of money for digital transformation also in Slovakia. So don't, don't forget their subsidiaries, because their subsidiaries could also to be part of some interesting 
project in Europe with a lot of universities, uh, with a lot of startups. And I think when we, we will cooperate and collab collaborate together on uh, this kind of project, uh, it could, uh, Slovakia and also in other countries, could really be uh, very representative, re representative partners of, uh, of this kind of innovation and digital transformation. And in terms of um, full digitalization, what is currently missing um, from a country, national perspective to enforce a full digitalization or digital transformation according to, to how you think it? Uh, from our country, it is completely, I think, it is very important question what, uh, what you ask me, Vasilia, because uh, I think I, we are not alone in uh, Europe not only in Europe, but also uh, in the world. Uh, from our country, it is the, to not understanding for a lot of people what is digital transformation, uh, really for also public sector and for private sector. I'll give you an uh, example, for example, for public sector. We created uh, one document, I will not name. We created one document where the digital transformation was uh, in the break, brackets, uh, as example, web page. Not web page, it is not digital transformation. So also today we have to explain, educate, what is digitalization, what, 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 what is a uh, digital transformation. So this is really missing, I think, not only in our country. For private sector, it is exactly this that, for example, for our SMEs, uh, the English could be problem. The um, global market or European market could be a little bit issues. So uh, we have to take care uh, uh, about them and to also to inform or to explain that they take care about the digital transformation or about that economy too. Because when, for example, your clients, your big corporates uh, will ask some, some uh, new rules to be to, uh, how to be the supplier, uh, to be le legitimate as the supplier, you will not be prepared. And after it will, it will be too late. So this is the really important from, for the private sector also to understand what is it. The second point, it is a, completely uh, complex understanding. So it is uh, uh, more than uh, the first point. I will give you the, the example. For example, Europe, uh, European Union in one di directive, they push each country to, to support AI projects. Okay, they have three priorities and one priority is AI projects. That's okay, AI projects. But when you don't have a data, when you don't have the infrastructure, when you don't have the rules, when you don't have the data secure and, and fair and, uh, and all the, this kind of uh, things that you, you need, you will support the AI projects, but really maybe without the sense or without the real implementation. So this is a complex understanding what is digital transformation is and what a digital transformation needs. Also, for example, it is uh, the third point. It is, for example, uh, for the country to have quick results. So we say that, okay, now to support digital transformation, we will, for example, help the SMEs to make uh, for example, for the digitalization web page. Okay, web page. We we have does we have it in our in our plan. We have six hundred thousand SMEs, and uh, I don't I couldn't know imagine that for example in one little town or village there is a hair a hair salon and they need maybe this uh, web page for the as the digitalization. No, they don't need to communicate with their clients by web page. So this is, for example, to not only to seek uh, to have quick results for our countries, but really to 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 motivate and to uh, to really to make the uh, cooperation with countries for uh, how we could use all the funds for the projects 
which have a really good common sense. This is, for example, for me, uh, uh, important. And the last, for example, point, it is also, for example, to not to forego the little, little countries. So it is great that we have the leaders, for example, some country is really a leader in their manufacturing or something. But I think today, this health is really a common uh, common factor for, for us. And I think, have I mentioned, we could show to our society that uh, digitalization and digital transformation is really our future and could help our future life. So this is uh, what is missing, not only from Slovakia, but I think also for Europe. So if I may, my advice is that really this um, education, explication, the really good uh, results uh, from uh, the, the digital transformation, digitalization is really crucial. It is also uh, role of the Com uh, European Commission to, to be maybe a little bit faster on it. Absolutely. Um, I completely agree with you. Uh, on one side, uh, there is a lot that have been ac accomplished since the inception of uh, Gaia X, and obviously um, Gaia is is uh, Gaia X is the um, front runner in many things. However, I would like to understand on your side how Gaia X is changing or transforming the open source market or the cloud market or both. And at the same time, we know that we have a lot of critics. Obviously, when you are a disruptor you will have critics, but what would you say about that in this direction? Uh, I think that uh, there was uh, really, uh, uh, this changing is really good, well, it's new. And everything what is new will have a lot of criticism. Uh, I think to take uh, this, um, this uh, open source market model uh, really come really really come open for all companies for all uh, uh, people and uh, all, all all people what, what they want to use it um, it will bring a lot of new opportunities i know that open source market model uh, is very courageous uh, project Okay, because a lot of companies uh, think that they will lose the business. What sometimes they are they are right. Okay, but uh, it is very dangerous to not uh, to go this way. I will explain why. Because if you will create uh, in a in society of the companies of the people of the countries which will be excluded of data economy data space. I think it is dangerous for you, your own. So uh, each community which is excluded of the of the real life uh, could be really uh, dangerous and really very expensive at the at the, at the end because some companies maybe will lost the the business. Uh, some people not will uh, have the same opportunities of the of the of the services, for example. So it is really crucial that um, uh, we try to explain to big players that uh, some sharing, some sharing, I understand they, they want to be a leader, but some sharing and not to lost uh, the, oh, some communities. And uh, it's, it is important. So to have society companies and everybody on bo public sector on board uh we are uh, we will create this uh, we will make this uh, digital age much more better much more better for everybody uh, so this is also about the criticism sometimes that it's normal that we are uh, when you make something you will uh, always find the criticism but uh, I think the, also the Gaia X uh, work on the good, courageous uh, things, and we leave it. We are in a digital age, and in, we leave data economy. We we leave it. So we have to do it. 
maybe we will make some mistakes, then maybe we will have to transform, change uh, something, but we have to continue, we have to do it. Martina, given that you are one of the early supporters of uh, GAIAX, uh, your opinion really matters. If uh, you were to advise uh, the management team, the management board of uh, GAIAX as to the next steps that they should take, which obviously should understand the needs uh, from a Slovakian perspective, but also a European perspective. What you would say should be the call for action for us, but also to our BOD, to the rest of the members we are, because we are right now at 350, and we need to be able to, to give an advice as well and, and rely on the ecosystem as a whole. What would be your, your advice and call to action as to next steps that we should take? My advice will be to believe and to do what we say. So really to create this open, trustness, uh, openness, uh, cooperation, uh, to think to have a future, to have a next generation, to clim- climate change, because, because the digital transformation could uh, help a, book, a lot also the climate change so, and for our sustainability. So one more time to believe and to do what we say. I think every, every, everything was set. And now we have to do it and we have to believe it. Exactly. I, this is what I always uh, profess is walk the talk and talk the walk. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is how it, it basically encapsulates your discussion. Martina, thank you very much for taking the time for this podcast. We hope to see you again. Uh, we would like to hear from you again. This was the GAIAX podcast series with CMO of GAIAX, Vasily Orfano. Thank you. Thank you.